have a, a we don't know and we don't know I think she's we're thinking border collie mix and then this one is a oh. papillon and something I was looking for bins at Rolling Hills. Um, usually you can pick up, you know, the Sterilite, Rubbermaid type plastic bins, you know, with the lids. We're pretty cheap over there. So I found two bins and they had stuff in them, but it was worth it because I did pretty good with my, um, with these marble maze. They do really well. And I'm going to insert some videos. So please go check out these videos on these monster mazes these people make out of these, um, I'm calling these marble maze. These are not the Disney, um, that's not the word, Discovery brand marble maze. They are some knockoff, but they, pretty sure they interlock with them. But anyway, so this piece is not complete. This is the loop-de-loop -loop and it's missing this piece. And typically what I would do in a set like this is list all these pieces. I'm sorry, I can't talk this morning. But list all these pieces and then I would add this just in the box and just like, sorry, you know, it's broken, but maybe you have the other piece. So typically someone who buys this stuff has them and they're building their, a bigger set and they make the other incredible, just so cute. So watch the videos um, and check them out. So anyway, I got this bin of whatever these call it, marble maze things. And it, they come in a Rubbermaid container for $3.75. And I needed the container, so that was what was so funny. It's worth it just to have the container. So my second container purchase was this big, oh, nice, sun's coming in. So this was $5.75, and this is a really nice container. This is a Sterilite, and it's got the little clips on the side. But it's full, and it's kind of scratched up, but it's okay, because nobody cares. It'll be a barn storage anyway, so it doesn't matter. All right, I love this yarn. So it's five seventy five dollars for all this, yarn and all. So I love this yarn because if you make dolls, this makes the coolest hair. I mean, it's good for Barbies. You can't get a lot of length out of it because it is very fine. But you can make a, some wefts out of this, and you get this wonderful multicolor, and it's super soft. So this has been really fun for me. I've, I've made one uh, set of wefts out of this, but it was for a, a not for a doll. It was actually, actually for a unicorn, and you can watch my video that I did with my uh, gifted and talented class. So that was a lot of fun. It's a, a stop motion. It's really bad, but we love doing it. And so I have blue. I probably won't stick with the blue. I like the multicolors better. So anyway, this came with a lot of yarn. And this is a good color too. This is the, it's a kind of a tealy blue. It's a mixture of colors. I really like the Blanca. This is awesome gray though, if you're doing something like a witch or something a little bit more gothic, or, but it's gray, not black. It may be showing up as black. Anyway, it came with this kit. I mean, these, uh, hmm, it's called knit something. I forgot what these are called. Some little knitting thing. A lot of random pieces of yarn. Uh, this is a kind of an interesting red yarn. The reds, uh, it does have that multicolor look. This yarn to me does okay as far as making the hair. This is what typically people use, but it's just not very dense. So I don't, I mean, I'm sorry, it is not very thick, I should say. I think it's kind of dense, it may work. There's some more tools for this thing. Mm, I don't know. Oh, wait, here we go. Instructions, I slid them over. That is the. Oh, something nifty knitter. Yay. Oh, here's what's really cool. Oh my gosh, there's like a hat, a huge hat that somebody made, kind of one of these hipster hats, you know. I've got a tiny little old pinhead, but my husband doesn't. He's got a big old head. He would never wear this. I may try this. I'm sure it won't stay in my head unless I put headband. I mean, I'm sorry, um, hairpins or something in to keep it. Because <laughs> my little pinhead and my hair is super, super thin and super th shiny kind of I know that's I'm not bragging it's like slippery so this right here right here was worth the money if it somewhat fits I'll try it on later anyway the lots of fun yarn I will probably sell a little bit of the yarn I know I won't use this blue and there's two two things of it so I'll probably get all the blue together and sell that just for fun on my son's account 
because I, I do sell a few things on his account so he can have some money in his PayPal because he's off in Austin and living large. And that gives him his money, you know, just fun money. Anyway, so for $5.75, I got this really nice container. I mean, I can sell the little thrifty knitting thing and some of this yarn and definitely make my money back on that. So for, what was that say? Let's say six and four, so $10, I got two really nice containers, but I got all this other cool stuff I can sell, make a little money. Wow, talk about the glare today. Sorry, I did this first thing in the morning while my dogs are enjoying their morning chips. And my other dog is waiting anxiously. And I'm going to show you the why. Oh, look, this is what happens to stuffed animals in my house. Um, hey, Dash, what's today? What is it? What do we do today? Is this farmer market day? Hmm? Go to the farmer's market? You can go to the farmer's market? Do we ride in the Jeep? Do you go on a Jeep ride? You like your Jeep, don't you? So Dash has her very own Jeep Wrangler. Yes, she does. That's her Jeep. That is your Jeep, isn't it? You speak? Nope, she's not a speaker. You want to go? Am I just tormenting you? Say so yes, because you're still in your gown, and now I'm pacing because you said the, J, the Jeep word, and now I'm yawning because I'm anxious. Like, Mom, you said we're going on a Jeep ride. Well, I need to pack them up and take them for a Jeep ride. Okay, so we are at the farmer's market in Ruston, and look at my dog. She's she's like, when are we getting out? Don't be videoing and getting us out of here. Look at her. Dash, you ready to go shopping? Want to go shopping? <laughs> okay, so I don't know if you see what she's in right there. This is her um, seatbelt. Both of my dogs are, have a seatbelt on. They're sassy. There's my girl. So she, they all have they have seatbelts. And then you, of course, when you get them out of the, out of the back, you can um, use those as your well, they're halters, and you can use them for their lead. So this is the first time I've tried this with both dogs on one lead, like to really go somewhere. Usually, like maybe to the bathroom is one thing, but to actually go somewhere. I cannot video inside, I'm looking at my dog because she's so pitiful. So I can't video inside the market because they play music. Actually, they play live music, which is really awesome, but and it's really loud, but it's, you know, music, so I can't use it. So anyway, I'm not going to be videoing there. And basically, all I'm going is to go get the best chicken salad in Ruston. And it's kind of late. It's 1034 right now. It may be too late. Oh, by the way. Cause I'm like ADD this morning. This is the hat that I got out of that bin of yarn, and it's and it's it fits actually fits. But I do have it kind of pinned into my hair because it will slide right off if I don't. Anyway, there's my um. <laughs> she's so ready to go. She's so depressed. Look at her like, Mom, get off the camera. Okay, so the um, farmer's market was great, but they, my uh, chicken salad guy wasn't there. And my dogs got out, so I'll show you their little system here. I'm sorry, I just put my, wasn't looking. So anyway, they clip in to their seat belts. I bought these seat belt clips, and that keeps them from running around in the back of the car. And then it attaches to their, hey, sassy. So the, my dogs did pretty good, except this one made an ugly face. And a little kind of a dog teethy thing. I have a, a, we don't know, and we don't know. I think she's, we're thinking Border Collie mix, and then this one is a huh. Papillon and something. She kind of oh, looks like a Dotson in a way. She's got the little short legs and long back, so we think maybe a Blue Merle. Yeah. But mixed, yeah. And it's kind of, she's kind of a part of a puppy farm type thing, so situation. So she was well, when I opened my mouth, that one there just turned his head around here and looked at me. Yeah, she's really, she's a good girl uh, and she does really well here, but she got like an ugly, made the ugly face at another dog and I think it's because of this one. She may have been being a little protective of her because be. a big dog came running up to her. Uh, she, she says, I made an ugly face. I made the ugly face yeah. today. Okay, but we well, always, you know, we tried to, we've always brought her. We've only had her a few months, so. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're trying to get her. She's very social though, very sweet. Where are you going? I'm doing a little video of <laughs> them. they're good girls. Okay, so that was fun. Um, so we saw, talked to this couple who had, we talked, we talked to dogs for a little bit. And the, and the couple um, brought up something about seeing a dog advertised in, on Craigslist or something. And it was a Malinois. And I'm sorry, my finger's in the way here. Okay, so it was, they said something about a Malinois mix. And it was in Texas and had this long backstory and stuff. And I said, that sounds scammy to me. I'm a little bit concerned. I said, don't, you know, don't send any money up front, that kind of stuff. Uh, so if you're familiar with the dog scams, then um, if you're not, because 
almost happened to a friend of mine and thank goodness she contacted me and she started saying, you know, this sounds weird and uh, what do you think? And I said, absolutely not. Do not do it. And we ended up, she was actually posting on Facebook, but we found out that, that she was scamming on a Facebook site. So Dash is sitting all bed. This is how you normally see Dash in the back. Can I get the good shot? She just sleeps. So she's ready to go. Now, so while we were leaving, we ran into one of her puppy friends, and it was so cute because it was just saw Dash started whining and just wanted to get up in the wanted to get in the jeep with her. So we missed out on one of your puppy friends, didn't we? Yeah. So you know, we come here. We used to come here a lot. Um, one of the things we did do, if I didn't get a chance, I think I mentioned it, but you know, running into a dog that was a little bit too friendly. Uh, came up really fast and went very socialized. My dogs, I ha I do have them on an extendable leash because I do that so that they can like get a little ahead of me and go to the bathroom or something because we have lots of areas around here where dogs can go pee pee. And that's all they're going to do this morning because they've already taken care of their business and we do not take care of that business when we're out, do we? No. So... Anyway, the dog came up really fast, and like I said, keep mine on a short leash, but you know, keep my retractable leash way in. Yes, Drew Lynch, I use a retractable lynch, uh, leash, but I keep it tight. And my dogs are trained to it, so they know when they hear the click, that's that's their limit, and they're very good. But Sessie kind of, this dog kind of came between Sessie and Dash, and Dash, I've not seen her do this. I think she took a very um, protective stance. Against it, she gave him the ugly face and kind of, you know, did the little snarly, snappy thing, which I don't normally see her doing. So when I saw this other friend I, with her dog, I said, I just want to warn you, this dog comes up really fast and it's on a long leash, you know, that, um, so just to keep an eye, to kind of keep back away from the dog, because I know her dog and it does not like to be approached quickly. It's very sweet, friendly, fun. It's a lab basset hound and it's just <laughs> keeping my thumb in the way. Anyway, it's a cutie, but part of bringing the dogs to a uh, environment like this is to socialize them. And I do appreciate that this couple's bringing their dogs in to socialize, but until you're familiar with how your dog's going to react to another dog's short leash, always recommend short leash. I mean, when I tell you I retract my leash, it is like six inches long it, that my dog is right next to me even. And then I will let her go. If she sees someone I know is her friend and they'll go up and, you know, snip and do what dogs do. And then that's it. They just did their little sniffy thing. And that's about as social as they get. But my, um, my dogs are really good with kids. Kids have got really great manners around here. They know to ask first. Um, they don't get all in their faces. So parents have trained their children well. Anyway, fun at the, um, at the Ruston Farmer's Market is a great place to come. If you're ever in the Ruston area on a weekend, please come by our Farmer's Market. We'll check to see if it's open. Because it is a uh, lots of really healthy, really healthy foods. You know, if you're familiar with farmers market, you have to be like juried in, and, and your food has to be, you know, thought, you know, follow all these different rules. So, anyway, come by because it, it's legit, and I had a really good little breakfast roll with spinach and mozzarella cheese. All right, so here's a little place that I like to come to sometimes, and it's like a little makeshift flea market. And it's really starting to grow. And you get to really do some digging. And I'm just going to do a lot of digging today. There's a lot of people here, and there's a lot of talking going on, so it gets kind of loud. All this metal. Anyway, several uh, storage buildings that people open up, and they sell their wares, and it's usually like this. Just stuff everywhere. Oh, look, it's uh, no, it's a print. I'm just kidding. Uh, I guess the the best. That's kind of cool. The best fine today and, and I'm gonna bring put in the insert of this one these are some really cute old pictures they're on canvas set though and that they're very dirty but they can be cleaned if they're oiled they can be cleaned usually makeup wipes I kid you not does a world of good but because it has a lot of texture to it you may have to take a little bit more effort I don't know what's been in the last time okay so this looks like a vintage print but maybe not Anyway, these are pretty cool old dog prints. That one is. I don't know about that one. So here's just some more cool stuff. And so there's there's no there's no lights in here. There's no electricity. That is a very nice plate. I don't do that kind of cake, like bunk cakes. But wow, if you did, that is pretty awesome. I'm always looking for weird stuff. I did pretty well on eBay selling so things like this. I'm not gonna get this one because. 
I'm just trying to get out of fragiles like that and more so I do a lot more toys you know something like this it's just fun to have at Christmas and that's just stick wear then I, it's like five bucks for all, wait no it's just five, yeah for the set so it's not a bad deal I just want something fun for Christmas morning but I have China so better use my China all right, so this is my little check this out moment. This is, I'm sure, a reproduction, but oh my gosh, these the sandwich shares I called them because they would eat you alive, but they would fold up on you like a taco. Anyway, those are so cute. I really love those little chairs. I don't need an old one though, because it can be something I get the newer ones. Anyway, more fun stuff. I did see, I like these, I kind of like these, but they're not brass, brass. They're painted, um, sorry, anything. They just colored kind of cool. So what I do with these, I'll have to do an insert. I put ornaments in, in here and they look really cool. So I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so that's a kind of a cool set, but they're not brass, so I'm passing. Okay, so this little flea bark I did score a good deal. I got four of these storage boxes. So I've been looking for storage boxes at two bucks a piece. So yay, that's a good deal.